today's video I will be doing a fall home decor tour and I'm going to start here in the kitchen. I didn't decorate too much in the kitchen. The main attraction in the kitchen is my windowsill. And on this windowsill, I kept the two vases that I had on here before um, that I had sunflowers in. And I just changed the sunflowers out for more fall looking florals that I got from the Dollar Tree. And in this one, these are also Dollar Tree florals, except for this uh, pick here. I got this at Joann Fabrics. I just loved it because of this velvety pumpkin. I just thought it was really beautiful with the gold stem. I kept the family burlap runner because I think burlap looks very fallish. And then on there, I also put these ceramic pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree. The two squirrels are actually salt and pepper shakers that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I sprinkled these acorns. Um, I got a large bag of these acorns at Big Lots um, probably two years ago. And you will see them scattered throughout my home decor for fall. The only other place in my kitchen that I have a little bit of a fall touch is here on top of my bread box. Um, I have these two little signs that I got last year from the Dollar General and one says autumn and the other says harvest. Next we will move on to the dining room and as you can see I have the table set. Um, I talked about this in my um, $5 Goodwill Challenge Fall Edition and I will link that video up in the corner. Um, and it goes into more detail about, about what is on my table. The only thing different um, than in that video is that the tablecloth is different. Um, I use cloth tablecloths, so um, obviously you have to change those quite frequently. And I also have different placemats. These um, are obviously very fall, and I love to use them all throughout the fall season. Um, I can't really remember where I got these. Um, I think Dollar General, but I'm not positive. Over here on my plant stand, I don't have a lot of fall decor on here. Um, I basically put all of my fall decor on this center shelf, which is kind of the focal point when you look at the plant stand. Um, I have on here a couple of pumpkins. I got this sparkly pumpkin this year at Dollar Tree and then this pumpkin I've had for many many years. I don't remember where I got it. And then I've got these two little uh, artwork that I picked up at the Dollar General I believe last year. And um, it's kind of shadowy. Let's move over here so you can see what it says. Thanksgiving pumpkin pie falling leaves, hot apple cider, hay rides, family, autumn and season. And then the other one says plant smiles, grow laughter, harvest love. And those are just cute little pictures that I think um, fit perfectly on this shelf of my plant stand. Over here on my corner cabinet I have this scarecrow knob hanger. I put him there every year and I've had him for many many years. Then moving from the corner cabinet you go up to this shelf that I have above this picture. Um, this is one of the first major purchases I made as a young adult. I was probably 20 when I bought this picture. Um, I got it at JCPenney's and I cannot remember how much I paid for it but um, I just felt so uh, special buying this really nice piece of art um, and at the time I had cats in the house that was before I realized I was allergic to cats and so I decorated with cats at that time and I loved that picture then and I still love it now and so it is on my dining room wall and it will probably always stay there and then I have the matching sconces on both sides 
Um, I bought those separately years later, but the color of the paint matches the matting on the frame almost perfectly. So then on the sconces I put just a little uh, candle ring uh, floral that I've had for years and years and years. Um, everything up on this shelf I've had forever. <laughs> um, I don't change out my decor often. When I find something I love I usually keep it for ever or until it wears out. So I just have various pumpkins up here. Um, those canisters or those um, cans are seasons, um, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, and I typically leave, typically leave them up there all the time, um, although at Christmas time I do take them down because I have so many Christmas decorations that they fill this shelf. And then on this cabinet over here, I only have just a couple of touches of fall. I've got the little scarecrow that I picked up at Dollar Tree several months or several weeks ago, and then this floral, which is very autumn like. And then moving on from this corner shelf, I have this knickknack shelf on the wall. This has been hanging here ever since we moved into this house. I've had this shelf for many, many years, and I just change out the decor on it for the seasons. And of course, this time of year I have my pilgrim um, collection. I collect pilgrims. Um, believe it or not, it's kind of difficult to find pilgrims these days, um, even though I live in the United States and that's part of our history. Um, unfortunately, the fall has become more about uh, Halloween than about Thanksgiving, which is kind of sad, but um, I do collect pilgrims and um, of all different kinds. Uh, this little boy and girl I bought when I was very young, I was probably 18 or 19, and it was the first time, first uh, piece of fall decor that I bought, and they're actually candles, and of course I will never burn them. I got this little mouse pilgrim set at a garage sale for 25 cents, I think last, no, it was about two, two summers ago. This pilgrim set is a salt and pepper shaker set, I think. Yes, they are. And my sister gave those to me quite a few years ago. I got this pumpkin. I can't remember where I got it, but I've had that one for several years. And then I've got the pilgrim turkeys. If I remember correctly, I got those at Walmart several years ago. So from this shelf, we move on to my microwave stand. And this is my last uh, pilgrims and I can't remember where I got those actually um, I honestly don't remember maybe it'll come back to me but I can't I can't remember where I got those um, I just have this tea towel that looks very fallish on here and then my burlap a burlap runner and then in this bowl during the summer I have this filled with fake lemons because I think the yellow and white look really nice together but for fall, I have filled it with pumpkins. Now these three pumpkins I got from Dollar Tree this year, and then this little cloth pumpkin I picked up at a little um, festival years ago. Um, my husband and I, when our kids were really little, we used to go to a lot of festivals, like the Apple Festival and the Scarecrow Festival and the Popcorn Festival. Um, Indiana has tons of festivals and I would pick up little bits of decor from the festivals and that's where that came from. So moving on from the dining room, we will be entering the family room. And I do decorate in this room pretty heavily. Um, this is where we spend a lot of our time. And whenever we have guests, um, this is the room that they spend their time in. So I want it to look nice. So we'll start here with the grandfather clock. And at the top of this clock, we have a little mouse. That's the mouse that ran up the clock, Hickory Dickory Dock. And that was my mother-in-law's little idea. Um, this was my in-laws' um, grandfather clock. And when they both passed away, this was left to my husband in the will. And when we, when we went to pick it up, I asked, Scott, what's, what's with this little mouse? And he said, oh, my mother put that there. 
um, and then he told me the Hickory Dickory Dock um, rhyme, which of course I knew, and I thought, oh, that is so sweet. And so I'm like, we've got to take the mouse, and he's got to stay on top of the clock. <laughs> so we have carried that tradition on into our home. And in the fall, I give the little mouse a pumpkin, and at Christmas time, I put a little gift up there for the little mouse. He's a cute little mouse. He's kind of old. Um, he's one of those, like, covered in velvet. He's got a plastic tail and plastic eyes. And I just, I think he's cute, and I think the whole concept and idea is cute, and that just shows that my mother-in-law had a really good sense of humor. <laughs> All right, and on this door, this is our bedroom door. I have that fall wreath that I just made and I can link the video for that in the corner for you if you didn't see that video. And then over here is our TV stand and I have a piece of milk glass filled with some more of those acorns that are on the, um, oops I dropped one, like on the windowsill. Like I said you'll be seeing those little acorns scattered throughout my decor. Above the TV we have this little shelf and on these wooden sconces I got those at Goodwill um, a few months ago. I think I paid two dollars for them, I can't really remember. But I have some sparkly pumpkins that I got at the Dollar Tree and then these little wooden pumpkins that I've had for years and years and years. So just a little touch of fall up on this shelf and those little farm animals they stay up there all the time except at Christmas and then at the bottom of the TV stand I just have this milk glass vase um, sitting on top of a candy dish that's turned upside down with a little doily and I have a bunch of fake sunflowers in that and then over here I love to decorate with books so I have some books here with a glass piece that I got at a antique store and then another sparkly pumpkin uh, on top of that. And then over here I have my fall angel that I've had for years and years. I can't remember where I got her, but she's really cute and I really like to keep her in my decor for fall. And then up above there we have this little sign that says Happy Harvest and that I got at the Dollar General I think last year. And in this corner I have a table. Um, this table also came from my in-laws after when they were um, closing up the estate. I keep my farm scene on here. The farmhouse and the barn are ceramic and I got those from a company called Party Light. I don't know if you all remember um, that company, I don't even know if it's still in business, but it would be home parties where a, a representative would come to your home and they sold things that were mainly candles and things that, you know, candle burners and tea light holders and whatnot. And the barn and the farmhouse are tea light holders. And as you can see, I have tea lights burning in there right now. And I keep this scene up all the time on um, this little farm scene but I do put touches of the seasons and as you can see in this um, for this season of fall I put a couple of little pumpkins there and then I put this fall tree in the background then moving on to this wall I just have a simple wall hanging that I got from Dollar Tree so moving over here this is my recliner this is where I sit when I do crochet or when I'm watching television or reading. Um, I sit here in the morning to drink my coffee and right now my chair is full of dogs. That's Sally and that's Pepper. And over here is a little bookshelf and I have a few touches of fall on here. Um, I have this little plaque that says give thanks. I got that at Dollar General. And then on this shelf I have a glass pumpkin that I got from an antique store and then these two chicken um, salt and pepper shakers that I got from the traveling treasure box. I think they look very fallish and they match the pumpkin very well. 
And then to the left of my chair is my little table here. Um, I just have a couple of fall um, coasters. And in this basket, I have some milk glass and I have some lights inside there. I can't, I don't know if you can tell that it's shining. And then I put a sparkly pumpkin on top that I've had forever and ever. And in the basket, I scattered a bunch of little different fall doodads, some little gourds and some more of those acorns and some vase fillers and a bunch of little fall things to just make this look more festive for the season. And then here's another chair and then over on this table, not a lot, we just have a couple more of those ghost coasters and I put one ceramic pumpkin on top of these books that um, I got at the Dollar Tree. And then on the cow, on the love seat, basically the only fall thing is this fleece blanket that I picked up at Walmart years ago. And I just think it's warm and inviting and very pretty. And I save it just for the fall. Moving on to our fire um, stove, gas stove. Um, this also is included in the fall $5 Goodwill challenge, so I won't um, go over that right now. You can watch that video if you want to learn more about the things on this gas fireplace. And then in this corner, I have my cabinet that I keep all of my canning supplies in. And I just have um, this is candy left over from the kids' graduation open house. We probably won't eat it all before it gets stale. Um, this is that wooden purse that I picked up from the thrift store and then this is just a glass uh, container filled with um, basket fill things that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And then over here on the bathroom door we have this give thanks sign and on this wall we have a wreath that I made years and years and years ago. Then moving on to this side of the house, this is our front door, and this wreath I have a um, video on how I did this wreath as well and I will link that above. And on these two shelves, I have matching shelves on both sides of this painting. I just have an upside down milk glass piece with a straw or um, basket woven pumpkin on it, a little stuffed scarecrow, and of course my rooster. And then on this side we have the chicken that matches the rooster, another stuffed scarecrow, and another piece of milk glass, and a matching um, basket pumpkin. On this little table I just have a couple of more of my pilgrims. These are my last pilgrim set. Little turkeys, a little pilgrim turkey girl, and a little pilgrim turkey boy. And I've had those for years and years and I can't remember where I got those. And then the last bit of fall touches in this room is my mailbox. And I have this fall garland that I've had for years and years and I wrap that around the post of my mailbox. Um, if you don't know, my niece painted the mailbox and my brother built the stand. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of my home for fall. I absolutely love fall. It's my favorite season of the year. I love to decorate with just little touches of fall here and there. And I think it makes everything look very cheerful and warm and inviting. And oh, this isn't, this is not um, fall related, but um, I picked up this little high chair at a garage sale this year and I paid $2.25 for it and the little doll that's sitting in it was my mother's.
So it's very old and very special to me. And I'll leave you with a shot of my puppy dogs. My other dog, Lucy, is down there in her bed. <laughs> you can't see her because she's buried in blankets, which dachshunds love to do. They love to bury themselves in blankets. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching, friends, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.